Spanish giants Barcelona will face off against German titans Bayern Munich at the Estadi Olympic Lewis Companies in Round 3 of the UEFA Champions League on Wednesday night. These two behemoths of the game are separated only by goal difference in this competition, with the Bavarians currently in 15th place, while Blaugrana are right behind them in 16th. In one of the standout games on match day 3 of the Champions League, five-time winners Barcelona will host six-time champions Bayern Munich. With both teams on three points after two games, another defeat here could put either side in danger of dropping out of the top 24. Hungsi Flick's superb start as Barcelona manager continued at the weekend, as a 5-1 thrashing of Sevilla maintained their three-point lead at the top of La Liga. The one blemish on the card domestically so far was a slip-up away to Osasuna, while Flick's only other defeat came away to an impressive Monaco side after they had been reduced to 10 men in the first half. Barca returned to form in some style on match day two though, thrashing young boys 5-0, the perfect preparation for the visit of the German heavyweights, Flick, and top scorer Robert Lewandowski's former employers. The Barca boss has now won 17 of his 20 matches in the Champions League, the best win ratio of any manager in its history, and also the most wins any coach has managed in their opening 20 games in the competition. However, Barcelona's history against Bayern is extremely ominous ahead of this encounter, as the Catalans have only ever won twice in 15 previous meetings. The last six encounters have all gone in Bayern's favour, including that astonishing 8-2 victory in 2020, while the Bavarians have also won four in succession since then without conceding. Another defeat here would see Barca match their club record longest losing streak against a single opponent, an unwanted feat that dates back to the early 1960s against an all-conquering Real Madrid outfit. With 10 wins over Barca in the Champions League, Bayern could equal the record for the most wins any team has managed against a single opponent in the competition, and become the first team to win seven straight games against a team since Real Madrid did so against Ajax throughout the 2010s. Vincent Kompany will be hoping his side can respond after a disappointing defeat away to Aston Villa on match day two, when Johan Duran capitalized on Manuel Neuer going walkabouts to net an impressive late winner. That result ended Bayern's 41-game unbeaten run in this stage of the Champions League, and it also means they could lose three straight away games in Europe for the first time in their history, after also falling to defeat dramatically at Real Madrid in last season's semi-finals. In the middle of September, Bayern won three games in the space of a week, scoring 20 goals in the process against Holstein Kiel, Dinamo Zagreb, and Werder Bremen, but since then though, they have not found it quite as easy, drawing with Bayer Leverkusen and Eintracht Frankfurt either side of the Villa defeat. The three-game winless run was ended at the weekend though, as Harry Kane netted his sixth Bayern hat-trick on their way to beating Stuttgart 4-0, keeping them top of the Bundesliga on goal difference over RB Leipzig. Bayern looked to be back at their blistering best in time for their trip to Spain, with Kane's triple in a thumping 4-0 win over runners-up VfB Stuttgart sending a statement of intent and securing the league lead after the October international break. A staggering 24 goals in their first seven Bundesliga ties is confirmation that the Bavarians mean business this season in Germany, just as their 9-2 humbling of Dinamo Zagreb in their UEFA Champions League opener showed they can also dismantle continental opposition. While Bayern coped comfortably without playmaker extraordinaire Jamal Musiala against Stuttgart, a recovery from his hip problem in time for the trip to Barcelona would boost Bayern's chances, with the suggestion before Bayern's departure for Barcelona being that he has a chance of starting. Aleksandar Pavlovic will definitely miss out after sustaining a broken collarbone in the win over Stuttgart. That is set to give summer signing Joao Paulinha the chance to impress in holding midfield. Former Bayern coach Flick's tenure at Barcelona has got off to a good start, with a 2-1 loss in Monaco and a 4-2 defeat to Osasuna in September being the only hiccups in a season in which they have won all of their remaining 10 matches. Munich strike legend Lewandowski appears to have returned to the peak of his powers too, with 12 goals in 10 La Liga matches so far and a brace in the 5-0 win over young boys on the second Champions League matchday. The injury to former Borussia Mönchengladbach goalkeeper and German number 1 Marc-Andre Terstegen has been a blow, 
while La Magna Mal, the teen sensation who starred in this summer's Euros in Germany, is among the list of Golden Boy nominees that includes Bayern's Pavlovic and Mathis Tell. Match Stats Thomas Muller has eight goals and two assists in his nine Champions League encounters with Barca. No other player who hasn't played in Spain has scored so many goals against the Catalans. Bayern have won 11 of their 15 meetings with Barcelona, losing just two. Barcelona have failed to win any of their previous seven meetings with Bundesliga opposition, losing six. That includes defeats in the last three on home soil. Bayern have lost just five of their last 36 Champions League away matches, although they have been beaten in the past two. Ex-Munich head coach Flick boasts the best win percentage, 81.9%, of any Bayern boss in history, winning seven trophies during a 19-month spell. Lewandowski is second on Bayern's all-time scoring chart with 344 goals. He is yet to find the back of the net in two games for his current club against his previous employers. Flick is set to keep faith within a key pina in the Barcelona goal, despite the recent signing of Wojciech Zaczesny, both for this game and the upcoming El Clasico, with Marc-Andre Terstigen out for the season. Barca were able to welcome Dani Almo and Gavi back to the matchday squad after injury at the weekend, with the latter getting a brief cameo in the final few minutes. Frankie de Jong is also closing in on a full return, as he is yet to start since returning at the beginning of the month, but Mark Bernal is out long-term with a serious knee injury. The hosts will also be without Ferran Torres due to a hamstring problem, and centre-back pairing Ronald Araujo and Andreas Christensen, so teenager Pau Kibarsi is set to start in another high-profile encounter. Bayern will be without Aleksandar Pavlovic after he broke his collarbone inside the opening five minutes at the weekend, with Joao Paulinha the likely candidate to come into the side. Rafael Guerreiro has been utilized as a right-back of late, but Conrad Lamer could also come in in that position with Joshua Kimmich likely to remain in the midfield ahead of Leon Goreska. Young talent Jamal Musiala will be the big injury absentee for the visitors if he is unable to get over a hip issue in time, while right-back duo Josip Stanisic and Sasha Bowie are also currently sidelined, leading to Guerrero Rose position switch. Barcelona is off to a red-hot start to the season. Despite an underwhelming off-season and transfer window, Barcelona won 10 of their first 12 games in all competitions, scoring a whopping 39 goals in the process. They have scored 13 goals in their last three games, winning each by a margin of at least three games. Manager Hungsi Flick is doing this with one of the youngest teams in Europe. Key starters like Pau Kibarsi and La Mal have yet to turn 19 and their backbone in the midfield, Mark Casado and Pedri are both 21 years old. Bayern Munich, on the other hand, is one of the most experienced sides in the continent. Their manager is the young and inexperienced Vincent Kompany but with Harry Kane, Thomas Muller, Manuel Neuer and Joshua Kimmich playing huge roles for the team, the German side has a massive veteran edge. Barcelona has a massive advantage in a different area. Flick knows his opponent very well as he has coached Bayern between 2019 and 2021, and the German national team between 2021 and 2023. He knows the Bayern players arguably better than company does. With revenge on Flick's mind, this will surely be a barn burner in Barcelona. Both teams lost their matches in game week two, making this a near must win. Let's take a closer look at the matchup. The Estadi Olympic Lewis company stages the latest chapter in one of European football's most high profile rivalries as Barcelona take on Bayern München on match day three of the UEFA Champions League, with the German side having won the last six matches between the clubs. Both teams have three points Barca bouncing back from an opening 2 to 1 defeat at Monaco with a 5 to 0 home win against Young Boys. Bayern were 9 to 2 victors against GNK Dynamo in Munich on match day one the first time a team had scored nine in a Champions League game, but then went down 1-0 at Aston Villa. Barca are without a win in seven games against German opponents, losing six. The Catalan club have lost their last three home games against Bundesliga visitors having won 14 of the previous 15. This is Barcelona's 29th campaign in the Champions League proper, 
a competition record they share with Real Madrid. They have featured every season since 2003-04. The five-time European champions reached the quarter-finals or better every season between 2007-08 and 2019-20, winning the title in 2009, 2011 and 2015 but reached the round of 16 for the first time in three campaigns in 2023-24. Under Xavi Hernandez, Barcelona finished top of their section last season and then beat Napoli in the round of 16, 1-1-A, 3-1-H. They won 3-2 at Paris Saint-Germain in the quarter-final first leg and went 1-0 up in the return, but ultimately lost 1-4. Barcelona have won only seven of their last 18 home European games, losing six. The Catalan club were second to Real Madrid in the 2023-24 Liga. Barcelona replaced Xavi with former Bayern and Germany coach Flick in the summer. Bayern's 2023-24 Champions League campaign ended in Spain, Real Madrid scoring in the 88th and 91st minutes to snatch a 2-1 win in the semi-final second leg and a 4-3 aggregate victory. That ended Bayern's four-match unbeaten run against Spanish sides, W2-D2, and was their second defeat in the last 13, W7-D4. The German side have lost two of their last three games in Spain, the 2022 win at Barcelona the other, having been unbeaten in the previous five, W3-D2. Bayern have featured in the Champions League proper in every season since 2008-09, reaching the knockout rounds in each one of those campaigns. This is Bayern's 28th campaign in the Champions League proper, level with Porto and fewer only than Barcelona and Real Madrid, both 29. Defeat at Villa Park on match day 2 ended Bayern's record unbeaten run of 41 Champions League group-slash-league phase matches, W37-D4. After winning five of their six games in the 2023-24 group stage, Bayern edged past Lazio, 3-1 aggregate, and Arsenal, 2-2-A, 1-0-H, before that late semi-final turnaround in Madrid. The six-time European champions have reached the quarter-finals or better in 12 of their last 13 Champions League campaigns, the exception a last 16 elimination by Liverpool in 2018-19. Defeat at Villa was only Bayern's fifth in 36 away Champions League matches, W24-D7, but a second in succession. They have never lost three away European games in a row. A side coached by Thomas Tuchel were third behind Bayer Leverkusen and Stuttgart in the 2023-24 Bundesliga. It was the first time Bayern had failed to win the title since 2011-12 and their lowest league placing since 2010-11, when they were also third. Duchel was replaced by Vincent Kompany in the summer. Flick was Bayern coach between November 2019 and June 2021, winning the Bundesliga, German Cup and Champions League in 2019-20 and retaining the league title in the following campaign when Bayern also won the UEFA Super Cup and the FIFA Club World Cup. Flick scored five goals in 104 appearances as a Bayern player from 1985 to 1990, winning four league titles, he was in the side that reached the 1987 European Cup final. Lewandowski left Bayern for Barcelona in 2022 after eight seasons in which he scored 344 goals in 375 matches in all competitions, winning eight league titles, three German Cups and, in 2020, the Champions League, Super Cup and the Club World Cup. Lewandowski hit 103 goals in 187 games for Dortmund from 2010 to 2014, winning two Bundesliga titles and the 2011-12 DFB Pockel, scoring a hat-trick in the final against Bayern, 5-2. The following season his side reached the Champions League final, losing 2-1 to Bayern at Wembley. Have also played in Germany. Marc-André Terstigen, Borussia Mönchengladbach 2010-14. Andreas Christensen, Borussia Mönchengladbach 2015-17. Danny Almo, Leipzig 2020-24. Have played together.
Danny Almo and Dayat Yopankino, Leipzig 2020-21. Danny Almo and Conrad Lamer, Leipzig 2020-23. Eric Garcia and Vincent Company, Manchester City 2018-19. Eric Garcia and Leroy Sane, Manchester City 2019-20. Rafinha and Sasha Bowie, Ren 2019-20. Inaki Pina and Sasha Bowie, Galatasaray 2021-22. International teammates. Marc-Andre Terstegen and Manuel Neuer, Joshua Kimmich, Alexander Pavlovic, Serge Gnabry, Jamal Musiala, Leroy Sane, Germany. Jules Kounda and Kingsley Coman, Dayat Yopankino, Michael Olas, France. Almo scored Spain's first goal past Neuer in a 2-1 win in the UEFA Euro 2024 quarterfinals. On Sunday Robert Lewandowski and substitute Pablo Torre both scored twice in a 5-1 home win against Sevilla. Lewandowski hit a hat-trick in a 3-0 win against Alaves on October 6 and has 12 goals in 10 La Liga appearances this season, the most at this stage since Lionel Messi in 2019-20. La Mal provided his sixth Liga assist of the campaign on Sunday. On October 2, Barca announced the signing of former Poland and Juventus goalkeeper Wojciech Zaczesny. Goalkeeper Marc-André Terstegen tore the patellar tendon in his right knee in a 5-1 win at Villarreal on September 22 and is likely to be out for several months. Andreas Christensen, out since August 17, Achilles, has also been sidelined while Fermin Lopez came on on Sunday having been out with a muscle injury since August 31st. Mark Bernal is not expected to play against the season after suffering a serious knee injury against Rayo Vallecano on August 27. Barcelona's long-term absentees include Gavi, November 19, 2023, Ni, who was on the bench on Sunday, and Ronald Araujo, July 6, muscular. Ferran Torres suffered a muscle injury against Alaves and has not played since. Rafinha scored two penalties in Brazil's 4-0 win against Peru in 2026 FIFA World Cup qualifying on October 15. Vincent Kompany's men were three games without a win after victories in their first six games, scoring 29 goals, a new club record, before a 4-0 victory at home to Stuttgart on Saturday. Harry Kane scored a hat-trick to make it eight goals in the season's Bundesliga. Kane's strike in a 5-0 win in Bremen on September 21 was his 41st in the Bundesliga, surpassing Jadon Sancho's record to become the competition's most prolific Englishman. He has 15 in 13 games for club and country this season. Joshua Kimmich made his 400th Bayern appearance against Stuttgart. Michael Olas has six goals in his last seven Bayern appearances. Jamal Musiala has not played since October 2 due to a hip injury. Sasha Bowie, out since September 15, knee and new signing Hiroki Ito, July 28, broken metatarsal, have resumed light training. Josip Stanisic has been sidelined since August 19 by a knee injury.